Join me in Revision Surgery Suite as I walk through a few of my surgical cases. By combining advanced technology with my skills as a fellowship trained corneal specialist, I'm able to improve a patient's vision and quality of life. Helping people achieve their best vision is definitely rewarding and absolutely life changing. Viewer discretion is advised. This video shows live footage from an actual surgical procedure. So this is a femtosecond laser assisted cataract surgery with advanced technology intraocular lens and extended depth of focus. Two paracentesis incisions were made followed by the main keratome incision, which I prefer to make with a score to help uh, the wound seal. And entering slowly, allowing the diamond knife to create the correct architecture, nicely sealing wound, followed by hydro dissection of the lens and ensuring mobility of the lens that it's freely mobile. It's a subconjunctival lidocaine for numbing for the later injection at the end of the case. And the fake tip is introduced. And as you will notice, the, because the laser assisted, the capsular rexus has already performed the opening in the lens capsule, and the lens has been pre-divided. The lens is then further divided, even though it's been pre-divided, with the chain chopper. And each quadrant is then removed. And it's time to remove the final quadrant of the lens and I place the chain chopper behind so the posterior capsule does not come to the phaco tip and cause posterior capsular rupture. After the nucleus is removed, the cortex of the lens is then removed using irrigation aspiration handpiece. The cortex does stick to the edge of the laser incision, so it is comes out a little slower than a manual case. Then you have to aspirate near the edge of the laser-assisted capsular rexus. Care is always taken for the subincisional cortex because it can be sticky and hard to remove. And once the cortex is removed, it's time for the intracular lens to be inserted and using Lester to push the intraocular lens into the capsular bag and to release the haptics that tend to stip, stick to the optic. Then the LRI, or limbal relaxing incision that was made by the laser, they are then opened because a lot of times the epithelium covers the incision site, so that needs to be breached for full effect of the LRI and astigmatism control. Viscoelastic is then removed from the anterior chamber, followed by underneath the lens because the viscoelastic can be trapped beneath the lens. So turning the eye handpiece down and going under the lens to ensure all viscoelastic is removed to avoid postoperative intraocular pressure spikes. And then centration of these extended depth of focus lenses is critical. So I always centrate the lens on the light, corneal light reflex. These lenses perform optimally when it's perfectly centered. Three and a half millimeters measured back by a caliper for the injection site through the pars plana of the trimoxin, triamcinolone and moxifloxacin combo medicine. It's introduced into the vitreous for better prophylaxis against infection. For further antibiotic penetration, we use a subconjunctival 
Trimoxy as well. 